Hi you guys and welcome to our weekly youth group update. We meet every Sunday on the basketball court at 5 p.m. for a time of fellowship in Jesus. You're invited and so are your friends. Here's what we talked about this week. Let's check it out. As you know, this month we're talking all about self-control. Self-control is choosing to do what you should, even when you don't want to. Now, this isn't always easy. Sometimes it's really hard to do what you should do when you really don't want to. You have to really think before you say or do something. You have to choose not to just react because you're mad or frustrated. You have to choose to stop and think, I need to make the wise choice. So today we're looking at a really important part of self-control. It's something that King Solomon said and it was recorded in the book of the Bible that we call Proverbs. When Solomon was young, he asked God for wisdom and God gave it to him. A lot of Solomon's wise sayings in the book of Proverbs are about how it's important for us to control our words. And that makes sense if you think about it because our words have a lot of power. We can use that power for good by choosing words that are wise, true, and helpful. But if we're not careful, our words can cause a lot of hurt. Let's see what our good friend Kellen has to say about this. Hit it, Kellen! Hoo hoo, wobble dobble. Nab nab, Jim Juper. Clean sleen, gib jobber. Jude jot slan, rankles pan doot. Sly. Croon. Huh. Pappy Slappy. Well, oh, you're, you're speaking, speaking normal. normal. <laughs> oh, we can we can understand each other. Uh, I know. We can understand each other. Uh, and you need to put this away. Yes, I good. do. Thank you. You know, you should never push the jib button. I didn't realize it would make us speak gibberish. What did you think it did? Made us sound like Barry Gibb. <laughs> what you got for us, Kellen? Today's Bible story is all about our words and the power they have. Cool. Yeah. And I was gonna tell it with a video game. Are you guys in? We're, We're in. in. Perfect. The game is called The Power of Words. Sounds fun. Yeah. In Proverbs 12, verse 18, King Solomon wrote, The words of thoughtless people cut like swords, but the tongue of wise people brings healing. Our words are so powerful. So when we're careless and we don't think about what we're gonna say, they can cause major damage. But if we're thoughtful and select our words wisely, they can do amazing things. So our mission is to find people and then choose to say a thoughtful word? That's it. On it. Oh, oh, oh there's a doorway, go over there. Go over there, oh, right okay. there, right there, there's a door. Go on, go on. Oh, okay, okay. I wonder what this weird old gray beard has to say. <laughs> Are you here to make fun of me too and call me weird old gray beard like other people do? Whoops. Uh, I'm only 20 and I have a long gray beard. That doesn't make me weird or old. I, uh, but I, I didn't mean to. I, 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 was, I, was, I think we're supposed to choose our words carefully now. Oh, okay. so. well, what do we say? I don't know. Probably what you would want to hear if you were that person. Ah, ah. I'm sorry. 
people call me names sometimes too. It doesn't feel great. It's nice to know someone understands. Yeah! We did it! Well done! Sometimes the most thoughtful thing you can say to someone is, I'm sorry, or I understand where you're coming from. Keep going. Take the top path. Top the, path. the top path. The top path. I'm going the, I'm the, take that top path. I am, I am. Oh, okay. I'll go talk to that guy over there. I, that would guy you right please there. let me do this? Yeah. Hello, I'm Uno. Oh, I got this one. Move. You're blocking the stairs. Boo hoo. No one ever wants to talk to me. They just want to go down the stairs. Oh, no, Uno, Thought, come back. Thoughtful words, Brandon, I know, thoughtful I'm, words. I'm sorry, I was just, I wasn't thinking. It's okay. None of us are perfect with our words all the time. But we definitely should try and think before we speak. Why don't you guys try one more board? Okay. Oh, go down the stairs. Go down yeah. the stairs. There's stairs I, I know, right there. Obviously, I'm going. Okay. Hello, I'm Bananas. What do you want? <laughs> Maybe you better take this one. <laughs> um, hello, Bananas. How is your day today? None of your business. Hey! Why, you little... Wait, wait, John. You never know what kind of day someone could be having. Let's think before we type. You're right. Uh, well, Bananas, I just wanted to tell you, I think your name is really cool. Oh, that's so nice. I was having a bad day, but now I feel better. Here's a bag of gold! Uh, yeah! We did it! <laughs> Guys, that was so great. You used thoughtful words even when the person you were talking to wasn't very thoughtful. You were right. We don't know what kind of day other people are having. And sometimes our words can make a huge difference in someone's day and in someone's life. And sometimes our words get us free gold. I mean, I guess that's possible, but it probably shouldn't be your only reason for using kind words. Got it. Remember the verse, the words of thoughtless people cut like swords, but the tongue of wise people brings healing. Thanks, Kellen. Yeah, and thanks for the batteries. Zub, yub, yib, yib. Ah, I'm just kidding. I'll see you guys you. next time. <laughs> Solomon was exactly right. Thoughtless words cut like swords, but wise words bring healing. And it's easy to see that when we look at the examples in Kellen's video. It's easy for us to see how other people either cause hurt or healing with their words. But the truth is, you have to choose your words carefully every single day. You guys, the choice is yours. You can either speak without thinking where you can stop, think, and use self-control. It's important that we get this right if we want to follow Jesus. Jesus told his disciples, I give you a new command, love one another. You must love one another just as I have loved you. You guys, we need to show love with our words and that doesn't just happen. We have to be in control of what we say. Before we speak, we need to ask ourselves if our words are going to hurt or help. It's as simple as this. Think before you speak. You'll be glad you did. And the people around you, they'll be glad you did too. It's just like our tube of toothpaste. Remember, it's really easy to squeeze out all of the toothpaste out of that tube, but trying to put that toothpaste back in the tube, not so easy. If it's hard for you to think before you speak, ask God to help you. The next time your mouth is moving fast forward and you're about to say something hurtful, switch to slow mode. Think about how your words will affect other people. And if you can't think of any healing words to say, press the mute button. Remember, 
Think before you speak. Bye guys, I'll see you next week. Jojo, out.